Hello, welcome to a quick unboxing of the ISTD T8 BetGo 1000W 30A Smart Battery Balance Charger for 1 to 8S LiPos. So I bought this charger because I wanted to look into this BetGo thing that's coming up. That's basically you have an XC60 with a third connector and that's connected to a chip where you can store um, data and log stuff and yeah it's pretty yeah new so there's not much info about it other than that but I have other stuff like the batteries order already but first we'll take a look at this charger that supports it so let's check what's in the box actually ripped in here so we have some stickers bed go that's like poorly cut but who cares I don't need stickers. Well, not right now. So that's the manual. Actually, not that big. So let's go through some th things. So because it <laughs> it's rated for 1000 watt, it needs some badass high input voltage. Otherwise, the current would be insane. So it's rated to up to 40 volts. I have a 12 volt power supply that goes up to 20 amps, I think, or was it 50? And uh, I have a 6S LiPo I'm planning on using with it when I'm, yeah, on the run. So anything else interesting? Up to 8 cell, it's not a dual charger. Some photos might suggest it because uh, they show it powered by a battery. So yeah, obviously that's just the input, not the X. The output. Let's lift this up here. Then we have the screen protector. Uh, I think I won't need one. And actually, first impression, it's smaller than I thought it would be. Okay, so we have a warning sign here. And actually, there's there is a screen protector on it already. So I will definitely leave that on if I get the sticker off it without scratching it too bad. Is all that already, it's already ripping apart. No. It must be a super interesting unboxing, but what am I? Showing if I can't get this off in peace. Ah, nearly did it. Okay, so let's get this off very quick. There's a bubble, bad spot, but I don't care. So that's it, the fan. And here's the magic. You can see this shiny gold pin here that's the third pin that's needed for the bad go uh, system to work to communicate and then you have the update port the USB port there isn't much info about how much current it's supposed to put out but I think it's probably 2.1 amps that's what most chargers are rated okay so no no wheel I really like the wheel on the smaller uh, ISTD charger, but I think we will get away with it. Let's just check if there's anything left. Nothing underneath that, so let's throw this away. And let's get a little size comparison. So you can see the screen is pretty much, if not exactly the same, but it's definitely more hefty. Yeah, it's probably nearly twice as high. Oh, pretty much. Okay, in this direction. It's pretty much the same the width. This one's slightly bigger. But weight wise actually I have one here. So the T8 measures in at 
305 grams and you can not see it. So 305.2 uh, grams while the smaller one is 108. So when I looked at the recording, I noticed that the screen was blowing out. And so I'm redoing this quick uh, plugging in. So the fan is pretty loud at the start. And how to exit the menu, actually you push this button for a long time. And then you see the input minimum, um, the maximum output power, uh, input power. Backlight, I set it too low, otherwise it would blow out. Tones, uh, I don't like if it beeps all the time, I just wanted to do it once. For demonstration purposes, I set it too low. And this is pretty cool. You can run a self-check. It will speed up the fan, and I'm not sure what it actually does, but I think it will put uh, voltage on the outputs and read some back or probably something like that. Yeah, and then it beeps and it's happy. Then you have a language setting, firmware sharing. I have no idea what that means. That probably uh, means you need to plug in uh, the connector. What I already. Okay, I know. And then we have. What else do we have? System information. So that makes sense. And. That's about it, yeah. So with the ISCD, it's super easy. Same thing goes for the small one as for the big one. Basically, if it's powered up, all you do is you plug in the balance cord and the main port. It will auto detect the cell count. And what you do is you hit start, you hit start, and it starts. So two button presses and it will start charging immediately. It will even uh, measure the impedance while charging, but it will take a few seconds, uh, I think. Ah, so that's the thing. I set the input voltage to 11 volts, which is confirmed that it shut down. And I'll rip this off and swip, swap the sides. Since this is rated to up to 40 volts, it has no problem. Uh, being powered by 6s. So let's plug in the main port and the balance. Right. So, poor little lipo, and you see, good thing it shut off the charge. Um, yeah, I'll, well, I'm fine with five amps. Okay, so let's do the charge and wait for the um, impedance to pop up. And while it's charging and measuring the impedance or the internal resistance, let's look at the screen here. So we have the, uh, the LiPo, it's a 4S, it's 14 volts, and it has charged a few milliamps. And on this side, you can see the input voltage, the wattage that goes in, the temperature inside, and I guess. That's the consumption from the light bulb. And as it does not have a, a XT60i or the BetGo uh, hardware on this and that light bulb, it won't show anything here, I guess. Okay, so let's check if it has some internal measurements, uh, impedance measurements, internal resistance, and it does. So that's actually okay-ish. Okay, I think so much for the unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.